Hello there people, thanks for joining us again. And today I'm a little bit more excited than usual because we're going to create something for Halloween. I think I might create Count Dracula. So to create our Dracula, I'll be using the yellow, black, white and red cartoon clay in the 100 gram packets. I'll be using a couple of eyes that I had left over from when I built my Zoe Zebra. So let's create the count and let's start with his head. So pull off a blob and roll it into a ball about this size. Once you have your ball, give it a little pinch, roll up a little ball, stick this onto his face and that will be the count's nose. Now take a couple of bits of clay and roll them into tubes. Bend them over to form a sort of semicircle and stick them on either side of his head. Fashion a little mark for his mouth, then let's create his two famous fangs. Now the head is done, let's create his cravat. So roll three balls, each one smaller than the next, and press them flat. Now press them together, slightly overlapping them. Once the body of the cravat is created, use the point of a sculpting tool and fashion two creases onto each fold. Once the unit is complete, put it aside and we can keep moving on and create his gloves. So create two equal size balls from the white and press them both flat. Then take some scissors and snip a thumb and four fingers. Once the four fingers have been put in, you can stretch them out and round the fingertips at the end. Once they are both made, take the sculpting tool and lay in three folds onto the back of each glove. Now create a rectangular shape, fold it in half and wrap it around the glove. Do the same to the other glove. Give the fingers a slight bend and then put them aside. Now open a bag of red and pull out a blob. Then roll it into a ball about that size. Fashion it into an elliptical shape and flatten out one end. Now pull out the white again. Create a ball. Flatten it and then cut a triangular shape and attach it to the red shape at the top. This will be the count's collar. Make sure the point sits in the middle of the red shape. And to this we'll add his cravat and head. Now create a line down his belly. This will suggest the join of his waistcoat. Now take a pinch of yellow and create a small tube. Place this across his belly and then create two little balls. Put one either side of that little tube. You just put down. This is the Count's gold waistcoat chain. Let's create a waist now. Take out a blob of black and again roll it into a ball. Then apply it to the bottom of the Count's red trunk. Manipulate a bit more black and fashion two tubes. Make them slightly conical. This will be for his legs. Attach the legs to the body. To create the arms, roll up two balls about this size. Fashion the balls into sausages. And when they are made, bend them in the middle. This will be the elbow. Open up one end and flatten it out. Then attach the hand and the cuffs into the opening. Press it in and give it a pinch. And then complete the other arm and attach them to the body like this. The feet are simply made from a squared off ball. Attach this and then make the other one. Lightly press them onto the legs like this. At the moment our Dracula is bald and he needs some hair. So take out a little black and flatten it out a little bit like this. Pinch a V into the clay and position that peak onto the head in the appropriate position. Then simply fold the hair over. Now create some little tubes and place them in for eyebrows. For the cape, pull out a large ball of red and roll it flat. I'm using the handle of a modelling tool to do this. Once the red is done, create the same thing in black and attach them together. Make another smaller version the same way. Then with some scissors, cut out this shape. It's kind of like a trapezium shape but with the curve at the top. 
Now let's create the larger part of the cape. We cut a slightly bent trapezium this time. Once you have all four sides cut out, you can lay it across his shoulder and bend it down around the arms. Once the main part of the cape is on, attach the top part with it as well and blend it in with your finger. Lastly, we can add some eyes. And Count Dracula is complete. Well, I hope that your Dracula works out like mine. This has been a lot of fun. Well, have a really great Halloween and we'll see you next time. All the models in this video have been created with Montmartre cartoon clay, which comes in 100 gram packs and is supplied in 12 vibrant colours. Oh, and if you like this lesson, then join us at montmart.net, where we have lots more for you to enjoy. And while you're there, you might like to check out our blog. Join us on Facebook or subscribe to our family feed, where you can get free hints and tips.